Hello everybody, today we're playing a new horror game, Infliction. Uh, this game was gifted to me by Joyful Death, so definitely go check out her channel as well. I think she kind of had to get some revenge on me for gifting her Outlast, so here we are. And I can tell from the main screen, it looks like we're playing The Ring. This is the place between places. Here there can be only sadness and resolution. This is where the lost or found and vengeance rears its ugly head. Vengeful souls are born of violent death. This is going to be a totally blind playthrough for me. I haven't even watched anybody else play this game yet. I did watch the demo. That's the only thing that I've seen so far. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Hi baby, I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. End of message. To delete this message, so we're not in control of the car. At least not yet. That doesn't look good. So the game looks pretty good, I would say. Not like fantastic, but decent. New objective, find the plane tickets. Oh. My uh, controls are inverted. All right, so we are at our house and it is pitch dark. Can we grab that? There we go. Yes. All right. Oh, okay, we're in business now. Oh yeah. And we got ourselves a really fancy car there. Okay. Okay, so oh, got it. We couldn't for some reason we couldn't open that part of the door. I don't know. We can't open this door either. Why? Oh, how many doors does this garage have? This is weird. I do like the uh, the wind sounds. It's kind of cool. The tree physics. Eh. Leave something to be desired, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, why don't these doors open? How do I run? It looks like I'm trying to break into my own house. Okay, okay. Finally. Okay, we have a nice house. Look at this. I wonder if this is one of those games where you have to like touch everything. Oh. Alright, I wonder I wonder what time period this is because that looks like a TV with a VCR built in. Dang. Okay. <laughs> like we forgot to do the dishes. Okay, so that's like the worst invention known to man. I would hate having a microwave that you can see right into it. Microwaves are always so messy. You'd have to keep it spotless at all times. Okay, here we go. Nice. Alright, so I'm, I'm kind of digging how realistic. I like the when games have these little details. And it actually looks like somebody's fridge. Oh, here we go. June of 1999. Oh. Oh, is that our little fur baby? Who are these people? Listen up. Uh -oh, so you can like grab basically anything. Okay. Poor Heidi, never give up on your dreams. Hmm. New tutorial unlocked. Oh man, I don't like this. Okay. 
So Okay. I don't know if that's something that we needed to um really look through, but that that's like the first creepy thing that I've seen thus far. Okay, so let's go to all right, we're supposed to find trying to find the plane tickets, so hmm. Little whispers in my ears. I didn't like it. Okay. I like the light. Lights are good in these games. Lights are very, very good. <sighs> wow. Here we go. It's a tape. What? The Exorcist 1 and 2. Oh, man. Oh, so we can see ourselves. Okay, so we look pretty, pretty normal. Okay. Felt like I was like interrupting something. Why is a fire going full blaze while we are not at home? Is that, is that us? The house is very clean. I like how tidy it is. It's very, very tidy. You're my heart and soul. Love, Sarah. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna check everything. I'm. I need to find these plane tickets. Apparently. Oh, baby Gary, it's not just the two of us anymore. Our family's growing. That twelve-hour labor totally <laughs> worth it. Little Maggie, your love at first sight does exist, and this is the second time I've experienced it. I'm so happy, honey. Looks like we have a daughter as well. All right, where are these plane tickets? I got you a present behind the Black Veil 7. Just don't expect me to watch it with you. I know you love his horror stuff, but it gives me nightmares. Ghosts, yuck. Nice voice there. Is that the same person who's been talking in all these memories that sounded really different? Okay, so the plane tickets must be upstairs. Unless I'm just blind as a bat. Hmm. This looks like the junk room that you perpetually keep the door shut. Anything in here? I don't know why the plane tickets would be in here. Um upstairs bathroom that needs a cleaning. <laughs> the flush the toilet? Okay. Did Maggie take the tickets? She's a lucky kid, got a TV in her own room. Okay, so do we have two kids, I guess? This is the baby's room, and then there's Maggie's room. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why the... Why would they be in here? I'm only going out for two hours. If Maggie can't sleep, just read her this book. It works every time. I'll be home before you know it. Dinner's in the oven. Love you. Okay, nope. So, this is just Maggie's old room, I guess, when she was a baby. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, you got a flickering light here. Why does this person's house have so many rooms? Hey, stop flickering. Oh, wait. Pleasant Falls security doors. 0516. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely helpful. 0516. Hey. Stop. Okay, so I'm guessing... That is gonna be very helpful for opening that door, that locked door. Okay. 
I always thought bathrooms would be super weird that had um, windows in them. All right, O five one six. Gotta remember that. Can we run? Oops. Wait, what? All right, we got O five one. Dang it. O five one six. Yes. Victory! Yes. Okay, so the plane tickets have got to be in here. Ah, thank the Lord! Yes, goodness. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, what? No, computers for idiots. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. Oh. That touches my heart. It really does. Ooh, this is uh, some high-tech computer equipment over here. Okay, so... Hey. So... Oh, shh. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Hang on, what, what are you doing? What's with the mask? What? <laughs> what in the... Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. What am I get? What am I doing? Oh my god. I can't. I'm so slow. No! No, no, no. Run, run, run. Is that her wife? Is she. No! No. What? 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 I'm so confused. No. My controller is like... God. Get me out of here! Out! No, oh, no, okay. I'm in the car. Oh, God. Oh. Everything was going on perfectly fine, and then... Bam. Oh, hey! Who is that? Oh my god. What? I'm stuck at the gate and you won't let me through. Yeah. Just the two of us in here. See you soon. So we passed a car on our way in that had hit a tree, and then we hit a tree. It was like we saw ourselves in the in the future or the past. I don't. I'm not sure which. Oh, are we back in this house? Oh no! Find a way to vanquish the spirit. Why did the spirit come for us? So. Oh. It's like we're. It's like we're at a crime scene here. I have absolutely no idea how to vanquish a spirit. Is that all I have to go on? Come on. Give me something. Anything. Anything. Am I supposed to be shining this light in here? God dang it. Ugh. Our beautiful house. Look at it now. I'm assuming the lights just don't work. Oh. They kinda do. Kinda. Sorta. Okay, so we've got a spirit in our house that has killed our wife, I guess. Look like it. 
Or it looked like we killed her, perhaps. Okay. A woman was found murdered in her home. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Powell. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Pout. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location, please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah has been victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. That's if she was 19 years old? Who is he? My thoughts are dark, black as night, life is sparse, a total absence of light. When it's all over, come find me there. A broken soul, I belong nowhere. June 6th. 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over Michael leaving us. And he blames me. And maybe it is my fault. Who's Michael? All he does is drink. Locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere, and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. Okay, so that was some useful information. So this is almost like a Amptyville horror situation going on. Hey, let me out. What is happening? Oh no. No no no. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. How do I Oh no 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 Should I be using a flashlight? Like It said something about hiding. I know it did. That's a just pleasant. That's just lovely right there. Oh, I hate this house. I loved the house when I first saw it. Now I absolutely hate it. Gosh, what are all these weird drawings? Okay, I think I need to find the basement, I guess. is that I look in the mirror I see only a husk <sighs> where's the banging come from oh, of course the telephone every single every game every single game has a telephone mechanic It's a prank call. I don't appreciate it. Well, that was deeply helpful. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm kind of happy that this flashlight has infinite charges on it. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, that must be the basement that we need to go check out. Become one with the reflection. I don't I don't want to become one with the reflection. No. No, I refuse. I refuse. Okay. Is that gonna Oh, it says something about my reflection, didn't it? Become one with the reflection. Okay. Oh. So, the door is unlocked in the mirror. Oh, I see. So, I'm in some other world. I'm, I'm like terrified, but at the same time, I'm kind of intrigued. Nothing, nothing good ever happens in a basement. Oh my. So he has a lot of questionable art pieces like that. Those are things that I would just never allow in my home. So this kind of looks familiar like the demo. Ish, kind of. Okay. Oh, okay. All I had to do is move this stupid box. Okay. I'll move. <laughs> okay, that was a really silly puzzle. I mean, can I? <laughs> I wish I could use that as a weapon. Okay. Oh. I just really want to avoid what's happening over there. <laughs> I don't wanna... oh man... why... Okay guys, oh some lovely hooks too, yes! Um... Oh man, come on! Okay, oh here's the book, here's the book we need. Oh thank goodness. The spells contained within this book are your pathway to power beyond your human ability to imagine. Uh, okay, the contents are dangerous. To commune with the dead, one must open their mind to the ghostly fields of the ethereal. Performing such rituals is forbidden in most cultures for this reason. An earth lifetime is but a passing shadow in the face of eternity. Keep this in mind when you summon the dead. How we just don't summon the dead? This ritual is often used in conjunction with other rituals to complete a rite. First, you will need to find a living creature. Any creature will do, but the larger the creature, the more effective the ritual. Face south and chant. Uh, repeat these words for the remainder of the ritual. Drain the life from the creature into a receptacle until it has crossed over. Drink every last drop. This uh, concludes the sacrifice. Oh my god, what, are, what is it? What is in this horrible book? Angry spirits are born a violent death. These souls are bound to the world of flesh until they are ready to let go of the retribution or have achieved it. There exists one ritual that can be performed by the one to which the spirit is bound. The ritual can be performed in the world of specters or flesh, but must be performed by the one direct directly responsible for the demise of the angry spirit. It will open the way to where the spirit truly belongs, offering peace. To complete this ritual, you'll need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit. Body of the deceased, image of the deceased, clothing worn in the eyes of God, an object of ancestral significance. Once collected, cleanse these objects with fire and spread the ash over the site where they are slain. Is that what we gotta do here? <laughs> that doesn't sound fun! Oh no. Uh -uh. 
we probably deserve that. <sighs> Shoot. A woman was found murdered in her home. Stabbed over 10 times. Managed to make a call to 911. Had been victim to domestic abuse. Monster living in Maybe it is my fault. Yeah, abandoned here. Thank you so much. You know what? It took us back to this bit. No. Come on, seriously? Oh. So we're not. So that was supposed to happen? We weren't. We didn't have to avoid her? Okay. At least I hope so. I was gonna say, man, it took us back really far. The first item the ritual calls for is some remains of the deceased. Perhaps you can find something around here, like some hair or a tooth. Alright, you guys, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So this is a super terrifying game, of course. I knew it would be. Um, thank you, Joy, again for getting me this. I really appreciate it. And um, I will continue to play this, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>